Hello and welcome everyone, La Hut here with part one of my new Sun Jen Let's Play for Total War Three Kingdoms. The Tiger of Jangdong rises. Big thanks to Creative Assembly for giving me early access so that I could start this Let's Play early for you guys. I'll be releasing this series every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday going forward and part two will be out this Saturday the 18th of May. As with all my new Let's Play series, I offer you guys the chance to get an early hour special at part 5 if we can reach 2,000 likes on parts 1, 2, 3 and 4. It is of course completely optional, so if you're enjoying the content you do want to see an early hour special at part 5, then feel free to leave a like. But if you're not enjoying the content you don't want to leave a like, then feel free to leave a dislike. You'll get part 5 regardless of the likes on the first 4 videos. The like target just dictates whether it's an early hour special if we hit the like target, or if we don't hit it, then part 5 will be a regular 30-40 to 40 minute video anyway. So we're playing this on very hard, very hard difficulty on the romance mode. Sun Jen's starting position is normal difficulty. Character specialization, he is a sentinel, so he excels at locking down enemy generals or holding a choke point for a long period of time. He's best grouped with a retinue of glaive infantry and melee infantry. He gets plus 25% campaign map movement range starting in friendly sea regions and plus 10 morale when attacking. Faction specialization is heroism, which decreases unit recruitment and upkeep costs, increases the satisfaction of characters, and heroism is gained from inflicting more casualties than the enemy. Playstyle focus is expansion, and unique features he gets mercenary captain retinues, which include mercenary archers, mercenary infantry, and mercenary cavalry. He also has access to the mercenary outpost building chain. Noteworthy characters include Sun Si, Sun Quan, and Sun Ren, who will start off as children, but obviously as they grow up they will become key and important vital characters to our campaign. So without further ado, Let's dive on in. Embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns, chaos ignites, as the power of the Unix is crushed. In the pyre, the hand falters. Yet hope endures in those brave enough to resist. Sun Jian puts the future of his family before his own. Bravery is strength. Let tyrants fear the tiger. The fire rises, my lord, and Luo Yang crumbles. He has moved west with the young emperor in his charge. He will leverage all the remaining hand power against us. Such zeal is admirable, my lord. But may I caution patience if we are to have victory? The tiger of Jian Dong must howl once more, my lord so that all of China may hear the call. So it begins. Establish your power. Secure the Southlands and be wary of Liu Bao and his vassals. Our first mission, with enemies encroaching, Sun Jian draws his blade. So we must defeat these guys over here. We'll get the reward of a taste of victory. Plus 30 military supplies and plus 5 morale faction-wide. The Jade Seal. While moving through the land, something draws you to an old well. You peer over the edge and see a faint glint from the bottom. As you pull the rope up, a familiar shape rises out of the darkness. It is a beautiful seal of jade is the seal of the Emperor. So we've now gained the Imperial Jade Seal for Sun Jen. We'll just go and equip that and we'll go through all the bonuses and buffs that that gives. 
So, plus 10 authority, plus 25 prestige, faction-wide, and prestige is used to uh, increase our rank. We'll go and check that out in a bit as well. Plus 8 satisfaction, faction-wide, and plus 6 morale when defending faction-wide. But uh, obviously, both those two bottom ones there only apply if the character is Prime Minister, Heir, or Faction Leader. So that's why we're equipping that straight to Sun Jian right now. So we'll pop that straight on in. What other ancillaries did we get? A trader, Clay Warrior, Concubine, and a Grey Thoroughbred. Nice. Well, we've already got the Heavenly Fire mount for Sun Jian, so we won't change that up. He's got his Ancient Silver Sword and his Armor. Uh, followers... A plus 10 satisfaction from the concubine. I mean, it sounds pretty good, although trade influence? No, we'll go for even more satisfaction. Pop that in there. That's everything we can give him right now. Wang Gai, uh, you've got a spear. Hardened iron shell. Nice. Oh, and he's actually super close to going legendary on his resolve line. Uh, from what I understand, if you get any of these... Um, Traits uh, or skills, uh, expertise, resolve, cunning, instinct, or authority. If you get them to 100, then your character becomes a legendary character. Um, and their name will turn to gold and what have you. And there should be a little gold ring around the uh, skill that's reached 100 or more. So I wonder if there's anything we can give him to boost resolve. Nothing at the moment. Oh, well, we, could, we could swap his weapon. He's got a spear currently. Oh, we can actually swap him over to that axe. Doesn't um, attack as quickly, but he does more melee damage, armor piercing, and melee base. And that'll give him 9 resolve. Or we could give him the G. I think, let's give him the axe. So yeah, now you can see resolve has gone gold. He's got 104, so I think his, he'll probably change to a legendary character next turn, I think, if I understand the system correctly. Um, none of those are going to really work for him, so we won't give him any of that. Uh, Clay Warrior, yeah, let's chuck that in there for now. Everyone should be pretty happy with all the satisfaction boons we've given them. Satisfaction, for those who don't know, for characters, essentially kind of like public order, their sort of loyalty, their happiness with you. So yeah, that's all fine. We'll go through everything else that um, we need to go through. We'll take a look at our you know starting location, diplomacy, and all that. But we're going to kick things off by jumping straight on into this battle. We'll fight it. It is a decisive victory. We do massively outnumber them. We should be able to have a fun little duel. So uh, let's dive on in. Often I found with these initial battles is that once you defeat the enemy hero or general in a duel, the rest of the army will break. Um, so that may well happen here. Which will be good because it will minimize casualties for us. But um, yeah, let's see uh, what we can do. So... He's got his axe equipped now as well. I love that items and armor, and you know, it changes the model and what have you. There is Sun Jian himself. Also, apologies if I pronounce anything wrong incorrectly. Feel free to help me out down in the comment section. But uh, I imagine uh, that I'm going to pronounce a fair bit incorrectly with uh, these Three Kingdom series. But I'll do my best. Um, so as I said, yeah, feel free to help me out. Obviously, feel free to leave tactics, suggestion, advice, and all that. Have a quick look through my units here. Got two halberd units, uh, G militia. Then we've got these guys over on the left, which I believe you guys, yeah, my mercenary infantry. They're medium axe infantry. Archer militia along the front. And then over on the left, we have our Axe Militia. Right, without further ado. Start our first battle. So we'll ride forward. That is a champion. I imagine he won't want to duel against Sun Jen. He's a sentinel, so he will hold out pretty well. So he'll probably want to go after my champion. Wang Guy. Hopefully he'll uh, best him with his new Axe. He does have a nice little boon there to range block chance and melee evasion because his friend is present. And Jen. You can see this uh, range here is the dual range. And oh, he's already challenged me. Yeah, let's accept. Oh. 
Oh, nice. Being dismounted. Honorably, we hop off and engage. Use our ability Binding Fury. It does 15k splash damage. Nice. While this is going on, I am going to attack these guys with Sun Jen. Uh, just because I'm pretty sure they will break once their champion loses this duel. This starting battle. That's at least been my experience so far with this preview build of the game. Also should say that as well. This isn't the final build of the game. Uh, my early access copy will update to the uh, full release version on the 23rd. So there may be some bugs present. So yeah, I'm just going to bring him close. I'm going to dismount him before we do the final charge in, though. Just because these guys are all halberds. I want to see his flames of the phoenix. Here we go. Ooh, nice. How's the jaw going? Pretty good. We can use his ability again in a minute. Axe definitely seems to be helping. There we go. Keep an eye on the jewel now. See if there's a nice finishing animation or not. Kick to the face. At least we can tell the difference between these two guys. Ours is the one with the axe. Flip over. Oh! Oh, we're going to strangle him. And break his neck, I assume. Nice. Yeah, they've broken. They're wavering. Well, they might stand and fight a little bit. Let's ride back to our archers. And archers just unleash a volley. Okay. Let's mount some gem back on up. Okay, so they didn't break straight away. Oh, they're actually... Yep, yeah, they've rallied as well. They've gone, though. I'm surprised they held after their general went. They're probably going to fire on him. Get him back on his horse and he can charge on in. It's unbreakable. Hop on up and charge. Oh, very nice. That should surely... Be enough to see them off. I get a chance to use Flames of the Phoenix once more. No, they've gone now. These guys rallied. Okay, the archers keep rallying. There we go. Now they've broken. At last! Well, that should have given us quite a few kills. Yeah, 217 for Sun Jen. Archers got plenty as well, but none of our actual uh, units took any damage. That's good. We can keep on marching on because there's a town over there I think we can take next. Should be able to push on it this turn. Gain some heroism. Nice. 
Uh, replenishment we don't need to, although I don't know if it'll go into healing these guys or not. Uh, let's just ransom them for income. Haste of victory. There we go. So, Sun Jian rides home, but threats persist. Southlands must be secured. To that end, the nearby region must be brought under your control. Yet at the same time, be wary of Liu Bao nearby. In this time of strife, any sign of weakness could be pounced upon by waiting warlords. But if we claim this town over here, we'll get support from the people. Plus 5 public order and plus 25 faction support. A glorious victory. We've got an heirloom spit. Ooh. Heirloom Spear. Um, ah, he, that might stop him going... That will probably stop him going legendary, but that is insane amounts of armor piercing. So I, I definitely want that. So we'll need to wait to get him to go legendary then. With uh, some more resolve items or followers or what have you. Yeah, let's give him that spear. Straight in there. Lovely. What other weapons are available? Yeah, and I think it's going to top the ancient silver sword that he has at the moment. Let's close all that. So heroism, at the moment sleeping tiger. Then awoken tiger gives us plus five satisfaction. At the moment we've got minus five. Furious tiger, plus 15 satisfaction, minus 10% recruitment cost faction wide and minus 8% retinue upkeep. And then the Tiger of Jang Dong at maximum level of uh, heroism. Plus 20 satisfaction, minus 20% recruitment cost, and minus 16% retinue upkeep. Very nice. Let's have a quick look at our court. So we can see family and generals. We've got another legendary character here. Cheng Pu. Legendary sentinel. Nice. And then our family tree, we can see the children of Sun Cheng. Will all come into their own in time. But let's keep the pressure going. We can attack. Is a close victory. We have superior forces. High casualties predicted. Guess we better dive on in and fight this one as well. Okay, let's do this. One thing we do need to keep an eye on, though, in this battle are the towers. I have found that in this early access build, they are pretty powerful uh, and definitely OP against generals and heroes at the moment. It'll be interesting to see if they get rebalanced um, between now and when the uh, retail version of the game launches on the 23rd of May, because there will be an update between the build that I currently have and the one that goes out on the 23rd. So hopefully that's something they can tweak. I mean, they do a fair bit of damage to infantry as well, so maybe they'll lessen it. Uh, damage from towers to regular infantry too, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But definitely against heroes, they do a butt-ton of damage to the point where I'm definitely not going to be sending in my heroes until I know I've captured towers or i found a way that I can just charge them past them. So, just looking around the map, I think this left side is probably the best place to strike because there's uh, the sort of fewest number of towers clumped together. So, let's put Sun Jian and Huang Gai over here. And then let's get my axe infantry ready to go on in. Archers, I'm going to send you guys in first because I want you, if anything, to be the ones that get hit by the towers. I think that's all right. Let's select everyone except those two and just push everyone forward. Archers, I'm just going to give you an attack order on their militia. The infantry captain, that's fine. You guys go in that way. Split you two up. And then we'll see when we can bring in Sun Jian. So what have they got? Oh, they've got a barricade over here with archers up on it. Oh, that's fun. I would try and take my 
characters round, but they're going to get blocked by the militia there. We can take that from behind, so we're going to have to chop that barricade down. They do only have one unit here, so we should be able to break through that with my axes quite nicely. I have to keep bombarding them. Might get my archers to target their archers now as well. I'm going to take a fair few casualties here. Go, go, go. If we're lucky, though, we'll actually be able to capture these towers as we go on through. Maybe not this one. Yeah, we're capturing that one with just this little semicircle here. If that's the case, let's bring our heroes round and we can flank up round behind. Their archers are broken. I'm going to take these guys out over here. My axes should... Do all right. See how they do. Hope like we're not causing too much friendly fire with my archers here. It's weakening their back line. Let's manually draw them in and round. Up we go. That's the stuff. And just mount them so that halberds don't do... I imagine they do bonus damage once the, when the characters are mounted. I might try charging into these guys, though, for the initial charge bonus, because they do have their backs to me, so let's see what happens. Now we dismount him. Yeah, they're wavering. Come on, Sun Jen. Wreck him. Yeah, they've gone. Go, go, go. They've all broken from here. Good. We need axes on that barricade. My archers are out of ammo now, so we'll bring them in too. Come on, attack that barricade. I love how he... Oh, he plants the flag in the ground before he starts attacking. That's nice. This guy going to do it as well? I don't think he's close enough to the front line to do it. I definitely saw that other guy do it. That was awesome. Coming from behind. I think that does... I get the feeling that does damage to all those around. So probably not best to do near my own units. That's nice though. Sweet. I think we're yeah we're up and over the barricade. Chop those archers down. We've seen these guys off. Towers are captured. When did we lost? Mm, yeah, it's a fair amount. 
Actually, let's get you guys mounted, because if all they've got left is that strategist and some archers, they're just going to give me the runaround for ages, I imagine. Treating to a victory point. Smart. Oh no. Go get back on your mount. There we go. So weirdly. Okay. Attack, 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 attack. They've, they've shattered now. That's gone. Trash is now broken. Huzzah! Victory! A Pyrrhic victory. But still a victory. We have 1,051 remaining. I need to probably replenish up for a few turns. Gain some money, so that's all good. We gained some um, some heroism as well. Good, good. We've got occupy, loot and occupy, or sack and withdraw. Well, we want to uh, take this town, so we're going to occupy it. Support from the people, plus five public order, plus 25 faction support. Good. Establishing order. Got some bonus experience. And uh, a new mission. Sun Jian. Build a future in the south. Your home in the southlands must prosper, my lord. Your settlements have room to grow, so you should nurture that growth. Develop your, the trade and commercial infrastructure around the rivers and watch as our prosperity grows. Ward is your economy grows, minus 20% construction cost and minus one construction time. Construct or upgrade a building in Changsha Town. And that's actually our starting re well, yeah, our starting region that we control. But Sun Jen obviously starts over here. He's off on a mission. Let's just pull off those map pins again. They keep turning themselves back on. Right, let's just clear all those away again. Nice. Actually, something I just remembered. We didn't give you the grey thoroughbred. So let's pop that on there. Got too excited when I saw the uh, heirloom spear. Right, so what can we build? Actually, no, we need to build something over here, don't we, first? Um, we've got an assignment as well. Shengpu. Supervised construction. Actually, yeah, that'd be good, because that reduces the cost of it. Oh, I could put in this guy as a strategist. Actually, I should check to see if he... We might adding a strategist into Sun Jian's army. Because then, here he is, then I can get trebuchets. Ah, he does not get on well with Sun Chen, though. He disregards diplomacy because of his fiery trait, whereas Sun Chen is, is sincere and he values, values diplomacy. So he's not going to be a good put, pick to put in that army. So we could use him for... An assignment, but let's put in Cheng Pu for now. Supervised construction. So we won't actually build anything here this turn. We could upgrade this town, actually. 
but the construction cost of everything would reduce, wouldn't it, once we build that other bit? Let's just let's just save our money then for a few turns. Let's just save our money and maximize the building boons and what have you. Haven't checked diplomacy. We are at war with uh, Dong Zhou and the Han Empire. Anyone around us for a quick deal? Yeah, wow, yeah, you guys are also my north. I kind of... Part of me says I should secure the north, but from what I understand of the history and the story, I'm probably going to be given dilemmas to potentially go after Liu Bao and his vassals, which are uh, Kai Mao and Huang Zhu, or Xu, or however you say that one. So I might hold off on diplomatic actions against them for a little while. Yuan Shu, though, in the flyover at the start, yeah, we're friendly with him. We might actually be able to utilize him to help us out against Liu Bao and his vassals should we go to war. So let's let's just keep our options open for now. Let's have our first end turn. Taking a while, but then we have had two battles. Kept us busy. Ancillary. Oh, a Grey Stallion. Even more charge bonus, and goes from 5% to 10% chance of evading capture post-battle. Nice. We need to find something to give you to up your resolve. But what is his XP? Mm. Not going to level up anytime soon. People of Merit. Ooh! Maybe we could use... Ah, oh, we don't get on with him either. Damn. I wonder why that is. Ah, uh, he was also puzzled to the Dong, so maybe a sp an early spy, perhaps? But now that we've got that assignment going, let's... Yeah, that's cheaper and only takes a turn. I don't know if it actually took a turn before, but let's pop that in. Um, So we want to upgrade that, but it's only going to take a turn. So let's wait a turn to get the economy grows construction cost reduction. Sounds good to me. So in the meantime, let's spend some money on... Well, actually, let's we can shift some of you guys around. I love this, that you can swap units out to other units. Um, are we going to have enough money to upgrade the town? How much does it cost? 2,000. Well, it'll cost less than that. So we should be able to get another one of those in there and be all good. The amount of money we've got coming in at the moment. So that's all nice. Last through another turn. I guess we'll probably push on this lumber yard and then bring ourselves over to... Uh, Changsha sooner rather than later so that we can complete that commandery, that province. And we've got another mission because we just completed our previous one. Growing might. The recruit maintain a total of 14 years at the start of a new turn. And we get replenishment and bonus experience. Oh, cool. Pretty good. Another ancillary. A water clock. Oh, more replenishment. Uh, that is always good. Yeah, I'm going to give him that. I'm assuming that just works for units in his army. I don't actually know. But I don't want to change out the Imperial uh, Jade Seal. Wait a bit longer then. Well, this should... Yeah, it doesn't cost anywhere near as much now. Over here, if we again save a bit of money, we could upgrade that. Um, we're gonna just want the spears. I can only get one right now, though. Get the one in there. And then next time, upgrade that as well. Unless, of course, a strategist appears that we can bring in. Oh, hello, Han Empire. You're going over to the lumber yard.
Ooh, look at these guys. People of merit. A couple of strategists in there as well. New faction capital. Okay. Um, can we recruit one of those guys in? Ooh, we can. Lu Fan. Yeah, he... This guy... Well, gee, wouldn't get on with Sun Jan. But you would. Where have you come from, though? Check in the court section. Because rank four. You're distinguished. Increases ambition to gain independence as administrator. Charismatic. Ambition to gain independence administrator and loyal. Hmm. That reduces his desire for higher office penalty and decreases ambition to gain independence as administrator. He is rank four. We can't see any past loyalties. I mean, maybe he's a spy. We could always get rid of him later if we suspect him. He's a go master as well. I am going to risk it for a biscuit, actually. I'm going to get him. Yeah, let's let's risk it and bring him in. So we'll do that. So we can't upgrade this just yet. And in fact, we'll probably... Uh, we might be able to close it a little bit still. We could do a reform as well. Nice. Uh, we could go for income from commerce, seeing as that's one of our key things right now. Trade influence, another trade agreement. I don't think I can get any trade agreements. Not that available. Um, Yuan Shu is, doesn't have a border with us, so we can't do trade with him. You have a border here. You've got trade open, but it's not showing up as an option. I wonder why that is. Is it, is it because of the river? We need to... Maybe there's a port instead? Hmm. Okay. Um... No. Okay. We'll uh, leave trade for now. So yeah, reform-wise, no point getting more trade because we can't get any to start with. More population growth is always nice. I think I am going to go for more commerce because I've already got some coming in from here and I'm pretty sure that the tea house when we get it that is commerce as well the armor craftsman isn't that doesn't give any income it just actually has upkeep but the trade port I'm pretty sure as well is also commerce yeah so that's going to benefit all of that so yeah, that's why I want to I want to try and grab where is it? Tea house, armor craftsman, report. So yeah, I want to get over there and grab this commandery first. Even if I risk losing these, I'd rather consolidate one commandery, I think, especially cuz that one can earn us a fair bit of money. We we could recruit another army perhaps, but we would then really struggle for funds, I guess. I mean, we could throw out more armies and just go gung ho. We kind of need to play the you know, quick attack expansive game here because we want to get more heroism. Actually get more archers. Oh my god, I can. Just. Um, yeah, let's let's chuck another one in there. Why not? But we're going to want to move on that lumber yard soon. Ah, here we go. He wants me to acknowledge legitimacy on Shu's claim to emperorship. Payment. Okay. I, I mean... We'll take him on eventually, but right now, he wants to give me some money for that. Sure, although I would prefer it be a um, regular payment. So, let's see what we can get out of him. We should be able to push... Actually, I don't know how much we'll be able to push. 150? Oh, way more than that. Nice. Look. There we go. Two, three, five. So he's only going to give us 900. So total from this over 10 turns, we'll get 2,350. Much better. Proposed deal. So we only acknowledge his legitimacy for 10 turns. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then after that, we can be like, screw you. On Empire. Oh, we now get we get some vision on Yuan Shu, do we? 
Oh yeah, because because we've acknowledged his. Uh... Yes, yeah, we get some vision because of that. Growing might, yep, because we've got all the warriors, more replenishment, and more bonus experience. Heroism increases. Oh, this is our next mission, sorry. His future awaits, so Sun Jian prepares. Hold three settlements. Okay. Yeah, I did this in my Sao Sao multiplayer campaign with Jackie Fish. Ooh, Book of Songs, nice. So, I know that this can be quite useful in Yuan Shu. Basically, the start is sort of desperate to get some acknowledgement, so. That's fine. Yeah, he's got some decent army, so yeah, hopefully this can be a sort of a budding friendship. If he can keep um, Leo Bwao in check, perhaps, that'd be useful. But yeah, we are two turns till we're fully replenished. I think we should probably wait until that's all done and then move from there. If I wait a turn, I can then upgrade... Oh, wait, no, it's going to cost even more, isn't it? Uh, how long till the assignments? Two more turns till the assignments done. Damn. If I hadn't got that archer, I would have had enough to done that. Ah, balls. I wonder. On shoot. He's only got one food. I wonder if I can trade. What about non-aggression? Okay, he's not up for that yet. But what if I trade you? One food. Or... Um, I will... Yeah, he's going to want to give me more. No. So let's request a payment. Let's just go up as much as he'll give me for one food. A oh, fairly decent amount. Okay, maybe not that much, but maybe cheeky and go one more. Damn, seriously, that's that literally the cusp of it. Three, eight, four. That's fine. Proposed deal. We've got food, so we're fine. Having a surplus of it gives a little bit more as well. What are we at? 49, so yeah, we do need to attack soon. That gives us enough money, though, to start this upgrade. Boom. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He wants, a, for non-aggression, he wants payment and the Grey Thoroughbred. Uh, actually, yeah, I could totally sell off the Grey Thoroughbred, but I'm going to reject this at the moment. I'm not interested, Leo Bwao. Not interested. Oh, Han Empire, where are you going? Please don't go towards... No, good. You're going towards your trade port. That's fine. People of Merit. Okay, more. Got all the strategists are swinging on round, aren't they? Oh, he was from Leo Wow. Spy! Spy! Surely. <laughs> Why would you ever want to release someone from your service? I guess if you've got too many people. I feel like that that's a that's a spy. I feel I don't know what to feel about you, because I don't know what your past loyalties were. But a wandering level four. Actually, Stratus, he's gonna at rank four, surely he's gonna have some cool he's gonna give me some formations for my units as well. Is there a way to anyone know where if it shows anywhere where their formations are? I thought they were abilities through here, but it doesn't seem like there are any extra formations. Is it just it just ranks up with the strategist? I just wondered if there was a way to see. Oh, here we go. There we go. I found it. Show hide the detailed effects panel. There we go. So yes, he enables the hollow square formation. Pike wall, shield wall, spear wall, turtle. Um, loose formation and wedge. Uh, obviously, it's up, it depends on whether the actual units can use them or not. Um, that's awesome, though. I am so glad I got um, Bufan. And he is really close to becoming legendary as well. Anything with cunning. Uh, this one, that would make him legendary. Own army. We can give him that one as well. well let's make him. Let's make him legendary with this. And yeah, let's get him to boost morale. So actually, hang on. What's um? He's got the replenishment. I'm not sure. This character is that just his replenishment, his retinue? Doesn't seem like it's adding it on. I'm not sure if that one's actually working or not. So. 
I mean, we'll leave it for now. You don't have anything extra here. Let's give you the morale buff. So yeah, it's that little button there will tell you. Good. So we need one more turn. And then they're all mustered. And then we will attack. Cool. Good, good, good. I mean, we could recruit some more, but let's not. So we just upgraded that one. How much does it need to get to the small city? Because that has walls. And I think if we are going to leave this town to go and complete this commandery over here, we're going to need to make sure it's got walls. And definitely a better garrison. Wow, really? Is that... Well, that adds, that adds more with the walls. Yeah. So we probably want to save for that. I doubt there's anything we can build over here anyway. No, that's fine. Right. Go on through. You want my build... I'm, again, I'm going to reject this for now. Vassals. Who's going to give me some money as well? But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna reject that. Vassals of... Your brow. Ooh, what's this? Returnal versus loyal. Oh, this is Lu Xu... Okay. Deepens. Choice requires that you do not have the loyal. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's not going to work. So we have to go for... We can't do fraternal. We have to go for loyalty. I really don't mind that. That's fine. That's with Lady Wu. So I kind of wonder if maybe... You know, maybe I should get rid of this guy at some point. Do I trust him? <laughs> is traits and stuff Colonel it's, it's cause uh, and Jen had loyal I assume yes yeah that's actually we should take a look if you look at characters let's take a look there yeah, he's still still clashed because of his fiery. Yeah, so they're never gonna gel. Not gonna have some money to get that, but if we attack the settlement right now, ah, oh, we ah, oh, damn! Didn't realize it was that far away. Let's force march instead, and we hopefully can strike it next turn. Actually, what I might do cheekily is get a trebuchet in there next time before we go in. That'd be fun. It would be weakened, but at least we'll have a trebuchet. Could upgrade this, but I think better to wait, save the money for that one. Likewise, you also need that for walls. So let's... Yeah, we're getting a decent income at the moment. We need to keep pushing though to get our heroism up, because at the moment, not so good. Um, let's go quick deal. I mean, I could support their, them rising up, but let's not worry about them just yet. Um, yeah, let's see if non-aggression's on the table. Got an ancillary I can throw away. Probably the Grey Thoroughbred, because we're not using that one any more. Although I could actually... Ah, yes, I could give that to... I could the Clay Warrior, because I'm thinking we use the Thoroughbred for my... Um, strategist, Lufu. Yeah, let's let's chuck that deal in there. I wonder if I can request fifty. Nope. Committed to you on Shu now. For the moment. Yeah, force march so we don't get replenishment. Empire. Oh, and they're sending... Ah, oh, that those two that went up this way, they're coming around to attack us from behind, I think. Dao Chan. Oh, the Dong is about to go. Possibly. It seems to happen every time. Ah, oh, I still have turn away. Oh, and I was going to... Damn it. I was going to recruit a trebuchet, wasn't I? Last. But we do now have enough money to upgrade that. We are waiting. Uh, recruitment, yeah, so that's fine. We'll have to go without the trebuchet. We should be fine. I don't know what the map's like. How many... Ah, it's not a massive garrison. No, we're fine. But we'll definitely get a trebuchet. 
soon. That's the plan. Ah, Sal Sal, he wants to build it. He is desperate to give some money for that. Hello, negotiate. Uh, he is friendly towards me. Yeah, I don't mind being friendly with Sal Sal. The build is worth apparently a thousand to you. Uh, what about... Give me some regular payment. What about 150 to start with? That's your limit. Is it though? Because if I rock it down a little bit between these, will we eventually get to like one... Two, perhaps? No. One fifty is the sweet spot. That's fine. Yes, that's out. We'll do that. Proposed deal. So now I get one thousand five hundred over ten turns. Worth it. I mean, we're not desperate, desperate for money in a pinch right now. Otherwise, I would have taken the thousand that he offered me straight up. But now, yeah, we just continue to get pretty decent income. Master of Trade, your shrewdness in all matters of trade has created much prosperity for the people of Dongwu. Its merchants present you with a gift to show their gratitude. Ancillary. Oh, a chance to gain one. Okay. Uh, we got the builder that we just traded off to Sao Sao. <laughs> nice. Uh, we could do another reform as well. We're going to go for now. Is that more commerce? It is. Still... Feels like that makes a lot of sense. Although this is... That's income from all sources. I'm going to go for trade associations. Get that in there. Camp, no one let me recruit. So that's fine. Strike. In we go. We have 3,340. It'll be a close victory, apparently. They have 2,401. I want to see some of these formations that hopefully we have access to. Oh, okay. The lumber camp. The lumber yard, rather. Loads of different entries. This should be good. Right. Let's uh, let's do this. In we go. Okay, so yeah. Turtle formation. Lo oh, good, we've got loose formation. That's going to be great. Turtle, though. Where are they? Oh, nice. Oh, and they do spears at the side and the rear. Oh, wow. Full turtle power. That gives us plus 100% range block chance and plus 500% charge resistance. I actually kind of want to see them form up into these formations. It's cool. Oh, what have you guys got? That's something different. Shield wall. Oh, look at that. Can they move in it, though, please? Cannot run. Okay, that uh, mobile infantry form. Yes, good. One thing that really annoyed me about the shield walls, or they were called shield castles in Thrones of Britannia, couldn't move with them. Yes, it's going to be awesome. That's plus 35% range block chance. Okay, well, we'll form... Let's form you guys up. What have you guys... Anyone else got anything different? Just loose. So we haven't got any... I don't think our troops are elite enough to have, like, the hollow square or circle or whatever it was. Right, so... Get all these entry points in. If I spread my troops out... Should, hopefully, be able to draw them so that they're not sort of centred or clustered together either. And then we can uh, strike them from all angles and weaken them. I'm going to keep a big bulk of troops here, though. The rest are all going to be in groups of two. Oh, you're going to have to be a group of three. Um, where's an entry point at the back? Okay, yeah, that, that, they can go here. Oh, they can go through the trees. Nice, they'll be hidden. Even better. Anyone going to get hit? Um, okay, we'll, we'll tell those guys, these guys to form up into turtle already. 
Loose formation for you guys. Loose formation for you guys. You guys will put you in shield wall. Oh, they put all their banners at the back as well. Nice. That is cool. Have you guys here. And then we'll take a look at these guys forming up in turtle and you guys forming up in shield wall. Uh, champion. Yeah, chill here. Warp into a tight block. Shields. Lower rank. Nice. Just getting into position. Awesome. Wait, no one's under attack yet, right? Good. Where have they formed up their troops as well? Holding down space spark. They've got quite a few over here. That's fine. But yeah, so just holding down space bar, something super useful to keep an eye of. This grey area is line of sight that I can't you can't see into it. So useful to keep an eye on that sort of stuff. Um, turtles, 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 turtles. Turtle up. Oh, that that was nice and quick. Okay. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Right. Let's uh let's do this attack. They probably have troops. Why are you guys forming up weird? Move you guys forward. Of these towers, because I want to move my heroes too close to about there. Send you guys forward. We'll move the archers in on the flanks in a bit. Right, there we go. I was getting hit by the towers already. Quite slow to move. There we go. Okay, and you guys have got infantry there. That's fine. We'll push on you guys as well. Those guys are going to move in. Hoping when they move in, we can then move in with these axes. So, what's the tower range? Because again, I might as well move them to the edge. Arches over here. Saber militia over there. We're actually pulling that back. Move. Only major casualties I've taken so far are to my archers. Try and send them through to capture it, but in loose spacing. Probably not going to be super happy about it. How are you guys doing? Yeah, still taking some casualties. It's only a plus 35, right? So I'm going to capture it soon. Attack! There's seriously no one over here. There is not. Nice.
You guys run. They need your help. Go, go, go. How are we doing at the back? Getting through their towers. Yep, we got it. Can we duel their champion? We can. Can we go? Towers over here really doing a number on us. Oh, you are destroying him, though. Nice! We just started capturing that tower. Right, you guys. Time to pull in. Nice. He is victorious. In you go into them. Go break those guys up. Mercenary infantry on that attack did not do so well. It's finally got them there, but you guys are pretty smushed. You guys just fight it. Just hold here. And Jen, let's get you back into the center. Archers, give them a volley. Yep. Looks like half our force in this, but... Those towers... There we go. Concentrated Archfire. Leave him back here. He's pretty weakened. We don't want to lose him. Guns are still holding, which is good. Got these axes coming in now. Yeah. 
一群仓皇逃窜，一群懦夫，听命，准备就绪。Back from behind， 准备就绪，举起长矛，注意。Slaughter them. His archers have come back. Give him a volley. Surrounded. Managed to throw enough to get behind these guys. Now they go. So this guy's going. Just need these guys to break. And it'll be a full route. Victory! Pyrrhic victory again. But the lumber camp is mine. Yeah, those guys are out. Gain some heroism though. Good. We're going to occupy this one. Beautiful. Mission success. It gave us even more. Uh, mission issued from each according to their ability. Send any character on assignment. Okay. Didn't we have one? Oh, we did. Oh, yeah, we're doing top grade again, aren't we? So, in fact, have we... We have just, just started building that one. So, let's get you a discounted rate here. We'll pop... Uh, Cheng Pu back in here. And then we'll build that next turn. So we'll save our money. And I think this is where we're going to wrap things up for now as well. A good stopping point. So I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of my Sun Jen campaign for Total War Three Kingdoms. I'll be doing episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday going forward. So the next upload of the series part two... Uh, will be this Saturday, the 18th of May. So make sure you hit subscribe so you uh, get notified of that. And if you want to pick up the game and save, I believe, 16% off if you live in the EU, then I've got an offer on at Games Planet. You can find it linked in the description and pinned to the top of the comment section. But until the next one, hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, Tech Prime on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one, ciao for now.